Equilibrium partial pressures using the quadratic formula. I'm Mr. B. Consider the following reaction where nitrogen gas N2 plus oxygen gas O2 is in equilibrium with two moles of nitrogen monoxide gas NO at 2200 degrees Celsius with a Kp value of 0 0.050. What is the partial pressure of NO, nitrogen monoxide, in equilibrium with N2 and O2 that were placed in a flask at initial pressures of 0 0.80 and 0 0.20 ATM, respectively? The calculation techniques for KP problems are the exact same techniques used for KC problems. Begin by drawing an ice box which contains the initial pressures, where the pressure of nitrogen gas N2 is 0 0.80 atm. The initial pressure of O2 is 0 0.20 atm, and the initial pressure of NO, nitrogen monoxide, is 0, 0.0 atm. The change is indicated by X's where the reactants will be disappearing. So we write negative x for both N2 and O2. The products, the nitrogen monoxide, will be forming. Therefore, we write a plus sign. In this particular case, we write plus 2x because in the balanced chemical equation, the coefficient in front of NO is 2. The equilibrium conditions will be 0 0.80 minus x, 0 0.20 minus x, and 2x for the nitrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen monoxide, respectively. Instead of a Kc expression, we must write a Kp expression, where Kp is equal to the partial pressure of NO squared divided by the partial pressure of N2 times the partial pressure of O2. Now we insert the data from the icebox where the Kp value was 0 0.050. This is equal to 2x squared divided by 0 0.80 minus x times 0 0.20 minus x. This is not a perfect square, so we must write a quadratic equation. Simplifying the right side first use the following, where 0 0.050 is equal to 4x squared divided by 0.16 minus x plus x squared. Multiplying through by the denominator, use the following relationship. 0 0.008 minus 0.05x plus 0.05x squared is equal to 4x squared. Now subtracting 4x squared from the right side generates a quadratic equation, which yields 3.95x squared plus 0.05x minus 0.008 is equal to 0. Now use the quadratic formula to solve for x, where x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. In this case, a is equal to 3.95, b is equal to 0 0.05, and c is equal to negative 0 0.008. Now insert the data into the quadratic formula negative 0.05 plus or minus the square root of 0 0.05 squared minus 4 times 3.95 times negative 0.008 all divided by 2 times 3.95 which simplifies to negative 0.05 plus or minus the square root of 0 0.0025 minus minus 0 0.1264, all divided by 2 times 3.95. Taking the positive root, 
negative 0 0.05 plus the square root of 0 0.1289 divided by 7.9. And x is equal to negative 0 0.05 plus 0 0.36 divided by 7.9, which is equal to 0 0.039 ATM. Taking the negative root, negative 0 0.05 minus the square root of 0 0.1289 divided by 7.9. And x is equal to negative 0 0.05 minus 0 0.36 divided by 7.9. So in this particular case, x is equal to negative 0 0.052 ATM. The negative root must be discarded. So the answer is determined to be x is equal to 0 0.039 ATM. Now to determine the actual partial pressures at equilibrium. The PN2 is equal to 0 0.800 minus 0 0.039. This is equal to 0. 761 ATM. The PO2 is equal to 0 0.200 minus 0 0.039, which is equal to 0 0.161 ATM. And the PNO, the pressure of the nitrogen monoxide, is equal to 2 times 0 0.039 which is equal to 0 0.078 ATM. This is the answer to the practice problem. This concludes my lesson on equilibrium partial pressures using the quadratic formula. I'm Mr. B.